Macros are my favorite feature in Studio One, and today I want to show you some of the macro improvements that came with Studio One 6.2. So I recently put out a video on all of the new features that came with the 6.2 update, and although I mentioned some of the improvements to the macro organizer, what I didn't talk about were some of the new macro commands that were added. Before anything else though, I want to give you a very brief explanation of how macros work in Studio One so that this makes sense. A macro in general is an aggregate of commands that when strung together, allow you to perform an otherwise tedious set of tasks with one button click. In Studio One, in order to create a macro, you have to string together these commands that Presonus has provided and unfortunately the capability of what we can do with macros is determined by the commands that we have available. If a command is not available then in some cases you can get creative by stringing together a few others to get the results that you want but really unless you write your own scripts you won't be able to achieve your desired result. So then that brings us to the 6.2 update. In Studio One 6.2, there were a few new commands added, but among them were two very important ones called add bus for folder track and add VCA for folder track. So why are these two important? Well, because they expand on one of my favorite Studio One workflows, which involves mixing from the arrange view with the help of the inspector window. So if you mainly work out of one screen and you don't want to keep opening up the console here to add plugins, change volume, panning, etc., because at the end of the day, this does take up a good amount of real estate here on your screen, then a good alternative is to work out of the inspector window that populates here on the left. The inspector window is really awesome because it's dynamic, meaning that the parameters will change as you change from track to track, so it makes this workflow incredibly useful. The immediate and apparent problem, though, has always been with buses because unlike with regular tracks that have their channel populate in the inspector as soon as you click on them, buses require a bit of work. So here here, as you can see, I have three drum tracks and I want to be able to process them all together from one bus channel from the inspector window. Before, as mentioned, you'd have to pack this into a folder. You'd have to either assign it to a bus or create one from here. You'd have to rename it and then, of course, expand this if you wanted to see all the tracks inside. With the help of these new commands, however, we can now do this all with one button click. So as you just saw, this not only put my selected tracks into a folder, but also created a bus for that folder, prompted me to rename that folder slash bus, and finally expanded the folder so I could see all the tracks inside. Now, if you use VCA faders, which are basically empty faders that control other faders, then that second command that was added that I mentioned a little bit earlier is also here, and you can use it to link any folder track to a VCA and therefore control all of those track channels with one single fader. In any case, I have included this new macro that makes use of this new folder bus command into the latest version of my free productivity toolbar. The latest version of this free toolbar is 1.2. In this update, I've added a folder dropdown menu, which includes the macro that you just saw me use for putting things into a folder and then adding a bus, along with a few other commands, including the two new ones that we talked about. Aside from that, I've also included a layer dropdown menu to bring some upfront access to some of the layer functionality in Studio One, including a custom macro that I made here for adding three layers to any selected track. And last but not least, I've also consolidated some of the macros here so that this fits better in most screens. The productivity toolbar is completely free and you can pick it up by clicking the first link down below. Now, if you're already a user, then you should have already received an email from me with the latest version download. I really do think that macros are the key to being more efficient and getting more done in Studio One. So hopefully this helps you create more music and once you do and you're ready to distribute it, then maybe you can consider doing so with today's video sponsor. DistroKid. DistroKid is a distribution service that allows you to get your music into all major streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, and TikTok. Additionally, with prices starting at $23 a year for unlimited uploads, this also makes it one, if not the most affordable out on the market. There are a ton more additional features included in your subscription like free landing pages, opportunities to get your music on their curated Spotify playlist, the ability to split revenue with collaborators, and much, much more. So then whether you're an independent artist just starting out or an established musician looking for a better way to distribute your music, DistroKid has you covered. Make sure to click the link down in the description to sign up today and get 7% off your first year. The bus and folder technique is only one of the many available in Studio One, so if you're interested in a few more ways to use your folders for a more efficient workflow, then make sure to click right over here.